an entire Shabbat devoted to the mitzvah of tzedakah. That's Shabbat Shkalim, which will take place this coming Shabbat. We will read a special maftir following the conclusion of Parshat Mishpatim, and we will recall a time when our nation were commanded to give a half shekel piece towards the upkeep of the sanctuary and later the temple. For us, Shabbat Shkalim highlights the centrality and importance of contributions, of giving, of tzedakah within our tradition. Indeed, the concept of giving is so central to Judaism that over the ages, many great dilemmas have been posed. For example, the Rambam asks, what happens if one has 100 silver pieces available to give to charity? What's better, to give them all to one single cause or to give one piece each to a hundred different worthy causes. Now at the receiving end, it's a dilemma. You can debate it endlessly. But the Rambam says it is better to give one piece each to a hundred causes because of the impact it makes on the giver. Because if I give only once, then I'm engaged once in the act of tzedakah. But if I'm giving a hundred times, it means that continuously I'm engaged in the act of charity. And I cultivate within myself a nature of giving. And that is so important. For five Shabbatot following Parshat Shekalim, we will have Parshiot from the Torah at the end of the book of Shemot, which deal with giving, with the construction of the sanctuary, the furnishing of the sanctuary, the running of the sanctuary, the role of the people to be partners in supporting this cause and how they rose to that challenge. The first of those parashiyot is called truma, which comes from the root rum, which means elevated, and that is because when I give, I become an elevated person. The Hebrew term for giving, natan, is a palindrome, indicating that when you give, you receive in turn. And it's in this spirit that when Yaakov met up in Sefer Breshit with his twin brother Esav, and he gave him a present to appease him, he said, Kachna et birchati, please take my blessing. He called a gift a blessing because Yaakov realized that gifts are blessings to the receivers and also to the givers. Parshat Shekalim highlights for us how crucial giving is, not just for those on the receiving end, but indeed for the givers as well. Descartes taught, I think, Therefore I am. Jewish tradition teaches, I give, therefore I am. Shabbat Shalom.